This is Roger with Crosscut in Tucson, Arizona. We're selling this Acadia. It is a 2014 GMC Acadia. It's a 3.6 liter six cylinder front wheel drive SLT, leather and a third seat, rear air. It has 156,854 miles. It was a new car dealer trade in here in Tucson uh, at O'Reilly Chevrolet. We purchased it from them because frankly, they can't really get any lending uh, for their buyers on vehicles over 100,000 miles. They did actually put it online. That's how much they liked it. Um, and I will show you the ad they had it online at, at $13,990. Um, and I'm sure the used car manager and the GM were pissed that they sold this vehicle. They shouldn't have sold this. This is a great vehicle for, for people who can't afford, you know, a thirty-five dollars or $40,000 used SUV. This is perfect. Um, not only did we buy it from them, we just took it to the car wash. That's what the condition is. I've, I haven't done a car wash only vehicle in years. Uh, this didn't need a detail, um, which saves you $200 in the price, right? Um, beautiful car. Uh, anyway, I'm going to walk around. I'm going to point things out. I'm going to show you the car. We're going to show you the Carfax. I'll show you the ad that uh, O'Reilly's had it on. Um, and everything I know about the vehicle, you will know about the vehicle, um, the good and the bad. Um, the only thing I don't like, and it's not worth $250 to fix, is they put an aftermarket grill in it. Um, you can get a factory grill with a big red GMC in the middle for $250 on Amazon. But again, it's like the detail. You know, if I bought that and I bought the detail, I'd add $450 to the price of a vehicle that needs neither. You know? So what's the point? Um, so I'm not going to do that. But... Uh, Let's see, there's also a little scuff here on this wheel. You've got four Michelins on this thing that are probably, I'm saying 50% tread, somewhere in that area. A little tiny scuff right here. If you got a little touch up paint, you would just dab it on there. Um, but uh, I also think that people, especially when you're buying anything over 100,000 miles, appreciate seeing a vehicle that hasn't been all dolled up. This is exactly as I bought it, exactly, aside from uh, a self-serve car wash about 15 minutes ago. So there you go. All right, let me see. Let me get my keys out of my pocket here for this guy. So you can do this. All right. So you can press this, open and close. You can use the handle to open it and use this to close it. That works fine. Um, here's uh, some information for you. So here you go. This is the... Uh, Carfax. There's the uh, VIN, 156,000 miles. They blend the Carfax and the Kelly Blue Book together, the history of the vehicle together, and they come up with a retail value of 15,270. Um, there's the, uh, again, uh, no accidents, blah, blah, blah. There's the VIN. This will be linked into the ad. You can click on the Carfax itself. No accidents reported, okay? Um, important, no major title problems. That matters. Uh, ba, 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 ba. So it was, let's see, ba, ba, ba. looks like it was born in, well, titled in Oklahoma, so it's probably some sort of a rental vehicle, or not a rental, a fleet vehicle. Yeah, fleet lease, there it is, right in front of me. Um, but it was in Arizona, and it was certified, pre-owned, and they sold it. Sold as a cert GMC certified car at, uh, what, 6 1 of 15. And then it stayed in Arizona. And O'Reilly Chevrolet was uh, servicing it. Ba, 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 ba. Not much to not much to report here. And then they probably took it in on trade. And they offered it for sale, which is very rare for a car over 100,000 miles. Um, so they liked it. And then here is, this is what O'Reilly had it online for. There's your VIN. This will be in the uh, ad also. You'll be able to click on it at $13,990. They have to get that for the vehicle. We don't, okay? Um, when I when I walk past this vehicle, I'm like, I have to have it. Because it's super clean. It's a great Tucson car because it's a white car and summer's coming up. So there you go. So you hit that. You can also just hit your key and, and, and do it also. And then, let's see. So I lock it. Okay. And then I hit the, hold down the uh, start button. Now it's running, right? And then I gotta unlock it, right? Oop, gotta hit the button right. There it is. Inside, gotta put the key in. Turn the key, foot on brake, 
and now we're going right let's see let me get the trying to get the miles back on it oh i had it damn it hold on i'm hitting it too fast There it is. <laughs> ah, I did it again. Oh, when we're driving it, I'll show you the odometer again. My fat fingers are hitting the button too fast. It's this guy right here, by the way. Um, let's go into the hood real quick. All right, so there you go. There's your motor. Very clean under the hood. Stickers where it belongs. Runs great. We took it down uh, I-10 doing a little bit over the speed limit. Not a lot. And I forgot to unlock the doors because all the doors lock when you do that, right? All right. There's that. Hopefully I didn't lock the windows or I'll have to make another trip around. All right. There you go. There's your window. Seats are in outstanding condition. Seat back seat forward seat up seat down this is in such good shape it's got nice uh weather tech type um mat heated seats on both sides uh ba -ba -ba -ba. What else? coin holder etc in there I forgot where the USB port is. There's a USB port in here somewhere. When I see something I don't like, I will tell you. Like, it's got a little scuff in here. I thought that would clean off, but it's not. That's in the tent. So if you want that to go away, you're going to have to replace the tent. Uh, nothing in our vehicle will, in our, in our descriptions, will uh, uh, be deceitful or deceptive. It's missing a plug right here on the trim it's missing one here too so they must just like fall out and this this uh, uh, seatbelt female clip has tape around it like maybe that fell apart at some point um, they're about 90 bucks if you want to buy it but you got to take the seat out and I'm sure that's a pain in the ass too um, so just leave it alone um, let's see you got fan up and down back here you got temperature up and down back here You've got an outlet back here, right? Nice WeatherTech floor. This is a great kid car. Spilling's not going to do a whole lot back here. All right, window. Same thing back here. It's a pretty car. It's blowing cold air and it's blowing hard. You're in charge of the air in front if you want to be. Window, window. And my favorite thing is it doesn't have video on the back. God, video's annoying. They start fighting over the video. All right. <laughs> Mirror out, in, up, and down. Other side. Out, in, up, and down. Door locks. There you go. All right. Seat forward. Seat back. Seat up. Seat down. Rear seat back, forward, and back. Seats are in fantastic shape. Uh, they were light people. They weren't heavy people because that'll hammer the bolster, and that bolster's in great shape. There's your tilt wheel, right? Yeah, up in here, turn the radio down a little bit. All right, get a seatbelt on. All right. First of all, let's get back to the <laughs> to the uh, odometer. I keep skipping it. There it is. 156,876. All right, let's see. You, you got the radio here. Tilt the wheel up a little bit here. There you go. All right. So you can volume down from the steering wheel, volume up from the steering wheel, right? Then you can change the source. There's the source, there's FM, change the station. That's 
source. Actually, that's source changing, isn't it? Let's go to source again. I want to check this out. There's source, and then oh, I see. Then you change the stations using this. There you go. Garnering that kind. See. All right. So that's that. We got the rear air. Boom. Uh, let's see. You've got heated seats on this side also. Let's see. You got the. That'll open the uh, rear lift gate. Okay. And then you go bang. Okay. That's closing. What else you got? Boom, boom. Boom. That. That. Windshield wipers. Let's see. La, 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 what else? What else? What else? A oh, cruise control. Let's see. There's a cruise control on. Oh, it's just a light on the button. On and off, right? All right, let's see. Let me keep the gate open here. So you got drive, and then I think we have backup cameras. I'm sure we do. Let's make sure we do. And there's your backup camera, right? All right. Let me get through the gate, and I got to make sure I close the gate behind me because my brother is not here, and the doors are open. So let me see. I got my trusty little remote, and we got kids over here, and they are uh, rowdy kids. So I have no doubt in my mind they would uh, be right behind me going inside. Because back when I was a kid, I would have done that. Anyway, all right. If you come to Tucson to drive this uh, vehicle home, first of all, you got a nice ride home. This is this is a sweet uh, highway car. Um, you will pay the following. You'll pay your state tax rate, whatever that is, plus our city tax of 2.7% and a $250 dock fee. If you pay by wire and ship out of state, all you're going to pay is agreed upon price, and that's it. Uh, no tax, no dock fee, nothing. By the way, we're driving on a horrible road. I don't know if you can see all the bumps and stuff. They keep patching it. And it's really quiet. There's no rally, nothing going on here. This is an absolutely a horrific road to uh, do videos on, which is why we like it, because it's real, okay? Um, anyway, uh, if you're gonna pay by wire and ship out of state, once we receive your payment, we'll fill out the title with your name, your company's name and address. We'll scan it into your online file, sign it off to you, scan it in your online file, and mail it to you. We even scan in the envelope, we mail it in, okay? You will have it shipped to you. You'll already have the title in the mailbox, in your mailbox. Uh, by the time the shipper shows up, you'll take the vehicle and the uh, and the title and get plates. It's very simple. If you need help with shipping, let me know early in the transaction. I can do it for you. We can add the price of the shipping to the price of the vehicle, so you make one payment, and I'll get it done. If all you need is some phone numbers, you want to ship it yourself. Uh, we can give you phone numbers. Whatever you want to do. Okay. We just want you to have your car quickly. All right. Um, what else? Um, Deposit. Deposit's $500. Once we have a deposit, we have a deal. Until then, it will stay for sale. Let me jump on a little bit here so you can watch it shift. Yeah. And yeah, there's a truck right in front of me probably freaking out as I advance on him. Um, by the way, when I'm watching the video through my camera right now, this up here, like, is moving. And I don't know if that you're seeing that in the video. It's flat in, in, in real life it, with my human eye. It's something the camera does, like, on, I only see it on Explorers. It's the first time I've seen it on a, another car. I don't know what it is about the way they set up the lighting or whatever, the display, but it makes the cameras freak out. Anyway, um, anyway, deposit's 500 bucks. Get your deposit in. We'll sell it to whoever gets the deposit in first. So if you're, you know, waiting all day to tell your wife about it, it's going to be too late. Okay? So get your deposit in if you really want it. That way you can get it. All right? Last part of every video, I say the same thing that I have for 15 years now. We don't have salesmen. We don't have bottled water with our name on it. We don't have a fancy location with a beautiful road. You just saw where we came from. Razor wire, night vision cameras, terrible pavement. Uh, but that means we don't have huge overhead, which is why people say, I can't believe the price. Oh, it's so low. Well, we don't have to screw you to make money. We just have to, you know, be honest and let you keep your money uh, so that you can fix your car when it breaks because you save so much money buying from us. Every single car out here will break. This is a, some guy's uh, repair shop. Uh, yeah, a lot of broken cars. That happens to every car. Uh, 
what we do is we give you the, a ton of money up front uh, in savings so you can fix your car. Um, the new car dealerships on their used car property, they don't do that, okay? They charge you a fortune and they set aside five to $700 in their minds for future repairs, all right? We don't charge you for future repairs. We don't charge you for our location because our uncle charges a dollar a year for it. Um, we don't have someone making lattes and sandwiches. We don't have a game room for the kids. So you're not paying for any of that crap. Uh, in return, the only thing we ask is that you become the owner on day one. If the thought of a door lock actuator breaking or the radio taking a crap or, you know, who knows what, anything breaking on day one on, and not being able to get a check from us bothers you, then you're out of luck. Uh, we don't have any pro any vehicles that we would sell you and write you a check for anything, okay? Um, beautiful car, runs and drives great. great. I'd take it right now to Maine <laughs> and be fine. But you never know. I mean, I could be wrong. You never know. Maybe in Tulsa, it would decide that it needed a, you know, AC compressor and by Pennsylvania, it would need uh, a knob for the air conditioning. Who knows? You know, um, if it does, you've saved quite a bit of money. Go buy a part with the money you save. Okay? Um, that's the tough love part. The good part about this thing is it's a badass car. This is a really nice car. Uh, I'd be excited to own this vehicle, frankly. I think it's nice. And it's the second video of a vehicle I've done today. That Tiguan is the other one where they're crazy looking compared to the miles. That's 125,000 mile 12 that looks like it's got 50,000 miles. This is 156,000 mile 14 that looks like it's got 50,000 miles, inside and out. So it's a good day. Anyway, that's all. Thank you for your time.